This episode of Splitting Hairs is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. Open or renovate your salon or barbershop with Minerva Beauty, the trusted equipment provider for over 175,000 beauty businesses worldwide. Explore their website for a wide range of stylish and affordable designs, colors, and price points that suit every need. Visit their showroom in Monroe, Georgia, boasting the world's largest in-stock salon equipment inventory. Shop now at MinervaBeauty.com. And I want to give a shout out to the Minerva Beauty Salon of the week. It is at This Is Your Sanctuary on Instagram. Love what you guys are doing over there. If you guys want to be uh, the Minerva Beauty Salon of the Week, hashtag Minerva Beauty on Instagram and also splitting hairs with your Minerva Beauty furniture uh, for your chance to showcase on our show. Hi, hairballs. <laughs> <laughs> splitting Hairs free salon education podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck. Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T- today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode two, Splitting yeah. Hairs, the Free Salon Education.com podcast, <coughs> uh, powered by MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, thank you, everyone that is listening to the show. We actually had uh, a good amount of listens and watches. I love Sweet. that. Um, so, I wonder how many of them weren't mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Um, so, yeah, so I was actually uh, really surprised, and it was nice to see some people in the comments saying, you know, it's nice to have you guys back uh, doing the show again, miss the Wednesday nights and all of that. So, um, so, again, we're live here every Friday taping the show. So if you guys want to join us live and be a part of the free wheel and all of that, um, you can do that. If you can't join us live on a Friday, which we understand, um, you can also comment in the YouTube video or in any platform you're watching this show on. Uh, just comment that you want to spin the wheel and maybe we'll pick you as well uh, for it just so that you, everybody has a chance and you don't have to be on here live with us all the time. Um, so just a uh, hair in my mouth. Um, <laughs> uh, recap, you're welcome. Recap from last week. We talked about the Dyson Supersonic R. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's because Brian's hair is shedding because he hasn't washed it since <laughs> for like three weeks is apparently. I mean, it's almost two months. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So the Dyson Supersonic R, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We talked about that last week. The, the thing with it was the price tag was mm-hmm. the big thing, right? Mm-hmm. The big kind of. Uh, standoff part of it, but everything else looked kind of cool. Did um, you sign up on the list? No, is there a list? There, yeah, because I was, I don't even remember how I found it, but I f- signed up because it's not really like on their website, but I signed up to be told when it's for sale so that I can go ahead and buy it. Okay. I just figured they'd post about it yeah, when well, it was, but, but it's professional only. So, right. It's That's not for true. everyone. I, um, you know, I'm still questionable about it a little bit because it is expensive. I mean, I'll probably get it to, do a review of it or something. Hopefully they'll send one. But the um, but the problem with it is obviously the price tag. So I put on uh, Instagram threads uh, a poll and just asked if, as a salon professional, would are you going to buy it? Yeah. And eighty two percent of people said no. Wow. Oh wow. Which All I right. thought was kind of kind of high, but I'm also not surprised. Well, I wonder, like, of that. Who just doesn't get into Dyson at all? Like, are these yeah. people that enjoy Dyson products but don't want to spend that? Or is it people like Carly that are just anti-Dyson? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, we'll have to see. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm Start interested Start a Kickstarter. See. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so last week, uh, we kind of left the show. If you're, if you're already this attached to the show. Yeah. We left a, a major. We already have quite a few in the chat. Okay. Jersey, Wisconsin, Philly. Love that. India. Yeah. All right. Philippines. Okay. Yep. So um, we're going global. <laughs> and Susan <laughs> says, dude, you're killing me with this when you're doing clients like that. We're having the show. Oh, doing clients. oh I know. It's spin, the worst. I mean, spin that wheel just like old. Time. <laughs> I um, just it, put the video on for you and your clients and like we'll entertain them for you. You don't even have to talk. It's killing us. Just trying to do it before we do clients, yeah. you know. And Carly Fernando so. says, had a pro Dyson blow dryer. Mm-hmm. Not a fan. Yeah. Oh. You've got a fan? I'm not. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I got to think and of what I'm calling he's mine. He's actually here. He's in the chat from Philly, too. So. Oh, sweet. Oh, all right. Um, it's in the water, I guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> so if you're so or the water, what, you know. yeah, it's in the water. It's in the water. Uh, if you're so into the show and you've been waiting, on bated breath. Yeah. <laughs> since last week, cliffhanger. We have Brian's uh, wine story, but before that, we have a, a why it was inspired. Yeah, it was inspired by this uh, this story. So we'll roll the video, and you guys can see what we're going to talk about, and we can read. Yeah, for the audio yeah. medium. I don't, if you didn't see this, it is somebody on an airplane who is clearly not respecting the person behind them. They have thrown their very <gasps> fake hair over the back of the seat and is keeping it there. And the person who is having to look at this hair in her face is exacting revenge uh -huh. by putting gum in the ends of the hair. They are continuously trying to move it, and you'll see the woman just keeps flopping it back in her face just oh very gosh. disrespectfully. So she gets nail clippers and is nipping the ends of it off. <laughs> At one point, so, she takes a lollipop and puts it in her hair. It's a lot of revenge. Okay. But I get it. I'd be very annoyed. And I'm less upset by it because this is clearly like wefts of fake hair that will come out. Yeah. But... <laughs> I think the whole video is fake. I think the whole video is fake, too. Yeah. I actually watched it the <laughs> second time. So Brian <laughs> sent it to me, and I watched it, and I had that reaction of, like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. And then I watched it again, and I'm like, these two are friends. Absolutely. That's They're dressed fake. exactly the same. <laughs> and she keeps whipping it. Yeah. Like, it's so extreme. <laughs> yep. Like, what do you, do you think it's fake, Brian, or do you not? I, whether you know it's her. fake or, yeah, that's actually me in the, <laughs> in the front there. Um, you got me. <laughs> that's why I don't wash my hair. <laughs> There's a lollipop back there. No, I, um, yes. whether this is real or not, this kind of thing does happen. It does, yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. more than just what this video inspires, just that, that level of revenge just mm -hmm. makes me happy to watch. Because yeah. I like seeing people who are disrespectful get their comeuppance and it took, in the real world. It took three people to really make this video, right? The girl flipping her hair back. Yeah. The, the other girl, and then the girl behind her in a row. So, yep. like, these are like. <laughs> but look at how much money they had to spend to make it. Plane True. tickets are not cheap. <laughs> like this, they deserve the views on this one. Oh yeah, for sure. It's, it's like a ten thousand dollar video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> between the hair and the plane seats. <laughs> yeah, it's oh funny. All right, so um, <laughs> so that inspired Matt, and it just keeps going. But yeah. that, that's why we brought up Brian's plane story, which is kind of crazy to just to <laughs> set it up real quick, and then he can obviously tell the story. But um, we were sitting. Was it me, you, and Hayden sitting in one? Yeah, we next? had we went to a hair convention, yeah. or was it Vegas? It was Vegas. Okay, it was a Vegas show. Okay, and we had brought our son along with us. Yeah, and um, we brought the staff. So Brian <laughs> mm -hmm. was. Yep, we were in a row, me, you, and Hayden, and Brian was across the, the other row with um, in the middle. No, no, no! I was up against the window. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. I was against the window. <laughs> I thought you had. And there to were go two. No, because it was a couple that were. To okay, my right. oh, you yeah, had yeah, the yeah, window yeah, seat, yeah. and then okay, and yeah. then there was a couple, the middle and the aisle seat. Yeah, okay, yeah. and then go ahead. They <laughs> look like they clearly had just gone to Vegas to like get married by an Elvis impersonator real quick. <laughs> so they did not. <laughs> they were in all white. She. She was. She looked nice. <laughs> and so, you know, you're leaving Vegas. You're exhausted. <clears throat> So the plane takes off. I'm comfy in my little seat. I got my little airplane red wine because I like the taste of vinegar. And I'm sitting there with my little Nintendo DS and I start to doze off because I'm relaxed. And then I jerk awake, clobber the cup of red wine all over. <laughs> my like God. it basically exploded somehow. I've defied <laughs> physics all over this woman next to me in all white. And like, so it's just, it's mayhem for a moment. So like... <laughs> You would have thought I'd throw an acid on her. They jump up, <laughs> freaking out. They run to the bathroom. I'm looking at Matt and Christina like, what do I do? I am <laughs> me, horrified. Me, Matt, Matt is about to piss his pants from laughing. I'm looking over at him like, what? And I'm like, Christina, help me. What do I do? <laughs> and There's I'm, wine everywhere. And thank I'm, God, like, Christina's the best traveler because she's got, like, the Mary Poppins <laughs> bag of whatever you may need. So she's just got this endless supply of wet wipes. Yeah. So I'm trying to clean this woman's entire Try space. Trying to wipe her lap. <laughs> Before she got up, you didn't know what to do. Oh, my God. It was and awful. Yeah. I'm literally, I'm sitting there thinking, I have my Mary Poppins bag for my five-year-old son. <laughs> and thank God for me. <laughs> it's a great travel. Oh, my God. And so, Brian's over there. Like, my child should be sitting next to me. And, like, the worst part of it all for me, 
Like I, I felt so bad. You did. And you like, did. Face, you could see your it. face. I, like I put myself in timeout. Like <laughs> I didn't even way. ask for the stylus back to my <laughs> Nintendo did. DS because I was like, <laughs> I don't deserve to play video games right now. I'm punishing myself. <laughs> And I just kept Wait. apologizing to the he, woman, and she like never he lost his said, puppy. Yes. it's okay. Oh. That was the worst. I must have said, I'm sorry, a thousand times, and she just goes, okay. And she <laughs> never said, oh, it's okay. Never forgave Wait. me. I still carry that. How and long it was, was left flight. on the, the ride? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like a half hour into a oh, six-hour flight. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, he couldn't play his game. He <laughs> couldn't enjoy it. <laughs> you had to and the sit flight there attendant, in yeah. Oh, I was self-administered timeout. And the flight attendant comes back and obviously he's coddling this woman because she's milking it. Yeah. And he's like, can I get you anything? And then he looks to me, can I get you anything? Maybe white wine this time. And I'm like, all right. You know what I don't need? You know what I don't need right now? I get it. I feel bad enough. And I hope she never wore white on a plane again. Mm. Let that be a lesson. Yeah. Don't wear white on a plane. I agree. Because when I listen, when I use those wet wipes on that seat, the color that that oh, wet wipe came up, I the red wine was imagine. the least of her problems. Yeah. That, yeah. that was... Uh. Ew. <laughs> yeah, mm. so that's what happens when you fly with me. So, yeah. <laughs> and just to be clear, I wasn't laughing, I don't think. Uh, yes. You and Christina <laughs> no, were... I wasn't laughing. I was like, I felt awful I felt for bad. I felt yeah. bad for the woman, and then I felt bad for you. It was <laughs> written all over your face. Like, you were... You felt really bad. even if I wanted to laugh out of respect I, 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 for yeah. what was oh, happening. Okay. okay. I love how you guys remember this. Everyone was laughing at and me. And she did, she did not take it well and ruined every every everyone's mood mm. in that row because yeah. we all wanted to just kind of laugh and move on like shit happens, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. well. well. What That's are you gonna funny. do? Live and learn. Wear black. <laughs> I should have been filming it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, we could be viral. Right Back now. in the day. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Um. Mm, all right. So I, we got a couple things to talk about today. I uh, I do think I don't know if I want to skip this heartbreak can lead to hair loss thing. Then let's not. Well, no. I, I actually I wonder if I want to. Oh. I think I want to. Okay. I, I, if we get to it, we'll get to it. Yeah, but I think it's pretty is, self-explanatory about stress, though. Yeah, they just of, yeah they talk like, about stress and yeah. it's really the <laughs> ultimate. Stress yeah. and hormones lead to hair loss. Exactly. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, but <laughs> Ding. get a therapist. <laughs> and then it's like it can take eight months for it to come back. And, and it's I'm like, more about probably self-care yeah, yeah. than anything, and what you're ingesting. Not really just rubbing vitamin E oil on your scalp, yeah. like you know. So right. Get a yeah. therapist. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> It'll help you cope with things. It better. does actually say, yeah, they do talk about that. They say that, it, you know, and, and within like eight months or so, like of like really getting mentally like, you know, back yeah. to your normal self. Like your, your, well, it's, it's like we tell people all the time, like hair, skin and nails are just a outward reflection of what's going on inside the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is a hundred percent true because I was drinking like lots of martinis and like, and I'm still, I still have more. I was going to say, you mean like <laughs> this morning? <laughs> That's so past tense. <laughs> and, but I would also wash them down with gummy bears too, which is another thing that I would also do. And I, I have this eye thing and I think it's <laughs> oh all my from gosh, that. that. What? No, I'm being serious Pimping. though. You believe it too. Who saw this right? going oh, that way? I, totally I mean, I do, believe but it, you're like, I, but this, I just didn't see it going I there. I have this no, eye just, thing. It, well, no, like, it's like, it, it's like it pops know, out. People don't know about your eye thing. People, I don't care. What's your I mean, Does it come out? It just sounds gross. <laughs> no, it's like, uh, well, I don't know, like Is, eczema or something. No, it might be psoriasis. <laughs> or psoriasis, You literally yeah. drank yourself to psoriasis. Yeah. yeah, I did that. No, honestly, in all seriousness, like you do have like an eczema or like an inflammation. Yeah, it's like skin. on my eyelid. Yeah. But I can tell you, I think you'd look hot in an eye patch. <laughs> so you know what? Just keep well, living. Well, I'm on my way. Keep so. living hard. <laughs> I mean, I've I have always one been if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you borrow someone's eye patch? <laughs> Not yeah, when you I don't want it back. Yeah, you don't want it back. <laughs> I think it depends on what's behind it. <laughs> Not when you have an eye thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't give that back. Oh, man. All right. So All we're right. going to auction off Matt's eye patch. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be on the wheel next I week. Actually, I, I just think it's stress. <laughs> what are, why, it's heartbreak. <laughs> it's heartbreak. <laughs> back to the article, though. What I yeah. do find interesting is, you know, with when you... When you're stressed, you have like higher levels of cortisol. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting is that I think cortisol can like hinder the the stages of hair growth in in one of the stages. But also, women with higher cortisol have excessive hair growth. Yeah. 
So it's just interesting that it could have, that is a, yeah. have well, to do with both. <laughs> I wish I was smarter to go on with that point. Well, that's I mean, maybe well, it has to do with just estrogen, just really progesterone, testosterone, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but I can let you guys know in the future because I actually, that is something um, I'll be going like to the doctor to talk about like my cortisol levels because I swear that I have like issues with that. So oh my I, God, is this going to be like, we're going to share all our medical stuff? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <apparently. laughs> right, so well, no, but if they have to do no, with but hair. If it has to, yeah. Like my, cause I, I mean my hair, I feel like, like how you're saying, Christina, I like I, my hair has grown a lot. I feel like in the past year, I would say a lot more than, I feel like it usually does. Hmm. So, huh. we'll see. Lucky. Yeah, yeah brag. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's because you're young. Except for my bangs. Because you're young. young. Yeah, the bangs. That's true. <laughs> yeah. No, but just like to put the final, like I noticed what they were talking about in this article that we're not talking about <laughs> uh, was <laughs> you're talking about telogen effluvium. We talk about that a lot since COVID because that is also something that happens when you're sick, mm -hmm. like if you have an excessive fever, blah, blah, blah. And like, it's always been the case, well, but it became more of a conversation after like COVID because it was something that everyone in the world went through because a lot of people experience hair loss after any prolonged high fever sickness. Which okay. also people were upping their vitamin D, which also has a direct effect of your hair to growth. So it's all, it's interesting when you start like this article, yeah. this could go on to be a whole, oh, right. it's not just really heartbreak, heartbreak Weight leads loss, to hair loss, yeah. it's like, the stress right. and your hormones yeah. and it's a whole, whole segment. Yeah, for we sure. should do, we should talk about this article sometime. Yeah. yeah we <laughs> just not today. <laughs> Let's move on to more important things like, like you know, Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, it's funny because that, that was so interesting what uh, you just said which was great and He's in like, my wow, head the people around me are, are so smart, smart are so smart and i'm like in my head i'm like what's gonna get people to watch this and i'm like we got to get to the patrick mahomes thing but <laughs> that's our fan base that was yeah. way better <laughs> that was way better and i think people are gonna like that more mm. but let's talk about let's see uh, patrick mahomes yeah you guys, we'll put a wait we'll before put a, we do we'll put a poll up. Wait, see who had what was your favorite move, segment? Move on. Roller girl from Las Vegas said, "Matt, allergic to sulfates?" Question mark regarding the eye thing. So maybe that's a good question. Um, so I've been working hand in hand with Formulate to like I talked to him because he was saying you know, and we're like making adjustments in my formulation or whatever. Um, and then, so I'm not sure yet. Um, we also thought maybe it was a reaction to actual tea tree oil. Really? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. I love tea tree oil. Well, no, but tea tree, so this is the thing. Formulate uses 100% like real yeah. stuff, right? Milk the most, tree. Yeah. Most um, companies don't use 100% natural, like it's just a, some kind of like, they just throw it in there, right? Um, almost every company is like that because it's expensive, yeah. right? Um, so, but some people can have a sensitivity to actual tea tree oil. So that could be possibly because I was using a tea tree oil-based shampoo. We're just going to point fingers at everything that isn't martinis and gummy bears. <laughs> You're allergic That's to everything but I martinis think. and gummy bears. <laughs> He's like, Has, have you changed anything? And I'm like, no, but I'm pretty consistent with this one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um, <laughs> I put a different juice in my martini. This that time. to me is like what I love, like working with like formulate is like, yeah. I can literally talk to a chemist and be like, is it this? And we can take sulfates out. We can take this out and we can just keep working to figure out what it is. You know, that is I mean? cool. Um, but so far, you know, the gummy bears are gone, but the martinis are still there. Right. So I don't know. Maybe but, bring them back. All right. So Patrick Mahomes uh, has a kind of signature haircut, which apparently, um, he he did say uh, he let it grow out, and the people of Texas Tech loved it. That's where he played college. He also had a buzz cut in high school, which we have a picture of. He had that <laughs> through high school. Okay, Kermit. And then, um, I you know, I have a sensitivity to that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, you do. Triggered. And uh, so the... <laughs> So in high school, he had that buzz cut and then he went to college and him and his buddy had like a bet to like see who could grow their hair out, of course, you know, the yeah. longest. And he said he won and it's kind of, it became his signature look. Oh, and he now, won. Yeah. 
and now into uh, the NFL. He's we- been wearing this mohawk haircut um, and the headband, but he went on the Pat uh, McAfee show and said he's going to be changing his hairstyle. Okay, so let's not talk about the athleticism. Let's talk about that big brain underneath that hair that you still have. Happy you didn't cut it. Happy, hey, good yeah. news. Good move. Hey, hey it, it, it's gone this offseason. I promise y'all. I, it's go- I almost did it today, and this came on today with it. That but uh, I'm doing – I got to do something. I, I would have been to. devastated. It's kind of fun that – I do you guys feel like – and I know the whole Taylor Swift thing and all that, whatever, into football, but – Back in the day, I felt like everything was very segmented and like fans of different things were all like put into categories very strongly. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And now I feel like we're just talking like we're talking about football players hairstyles and we're talking, you know, like music, like everything's just kind of. Yeah. Combined. I mean, I think with what the different social media platforms is have done is it's made all of it so much more accessible. Yeah. You know, back when we were kids, the only people who knew what hairstyles they had were the people that sat down and watched the games. Yeah, right. And now everyone knows because it's everywhere on everything. So everyone gets to weigh in whether they watch football or not. Yeah. So it becomes more of a conversation. You know, more people get involved. Yeah. To your point. Yes. So kind of interesting. Do you have any thoughts about his haircut? Do you like it? Yeah. Tell the truth. Um, I mean, I just, you know, I'm just not a fan of Patrick in general, but, okay, you know. <laughs> I think his hair's cute. Yeah, it's like, all right. You know. Yeah, I like it. I, I didn't necessarily a, I was, see mohawk when I looked at it. I yeah. was like, oh, that's a mohawk? I was reading what he <laughs> like said a, for, like, changing for his daughter. I'm a little confused by that. Yeah. Like, I got a three-year-old at home. I can't I can't just keep the, the mohawk going. I got to at least change it up a little bit. That was the other part. Why? So he says... <laughs> He says he's gonna be a he's gonna be a father, right? Is yeah, he is? is a father. No, he's he is got, a father. Yeah, he's two kids, kids, doesn't he? Two. So he's saying like two. being a father and having the mohawk. Mm-hmm. He just kind of wants to change it up, which I actually. You can be a father with a mohawk. You can for sure, but yeah. I do understand as you get older because I I think about those things too, mm-hmm. like as I the way I dress or whatever, like. It's not even as much about Oh, we me. should have brought pictures of before we had Aiden. Yeah. Like yeah. I uh, and yeah. put them up. Yeah, like the way that Stay I would tuned dress. Next week. Like you go to like parent things or <laughs> mm. you're around parents and you're just around like a different you know, different c- company. Would yeah. you yeah. say you feel the need to conform? Fill a role? Not conform, but also feel feel more grown up. You know oh, what I mean? In a way. Yeah. So he might not feel, he might feel like that's his child phase I can, away, in a way. Like not child, but like college. Like, you know, it was his college haircut. It's come into the NFL. He does like it, but maybe he's feeling like he just wants to try something different, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I, like, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Carly. Um, I was just going to say, like, I can relate to that. I feel like we changed Brandon's life, my my husband, um, when we told him, you know, you should probably <laughs> grow your hair out. Brandon, um, he, for as long as I've known him, has buzzed his hair for, like, he would do it every two weeks religiously. And I kept saying, like, why don't you grow it out and see what we can do? And yeah. I feel like it changed his life. Now he looks like a grown-up. Well, it, that <laughs> and he had a lot, he has a lot of calyx. I don't yeah. want to call him out on it yeah. or anything, but. But I'm gonna. But I, <laughs> no, yeah. but I think it makes it interesting because he was like, I have all these calyx, so he would buzz his head because mm-hmm. he just hated those calyx. Yep. But. When you start to talk to somebody, and this is like for you guys out there, when you're talking to your clients, I told him how great his calyx are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they create this texture and and it actually has this one that kind of pops in the front mm-hmm. and it, it kind of caters to having a little bit longer hair. He just never had somebody that was like, use this product. Right. Try this way of like blow drying it real quick. Like mm-hmm. he just didn't have that. So he hated his hair. Yeah. And- I think he got, you know, made fun of it a little bit for it. So yeah. like growing up because he didn't have that, um, you know, somebody saying you can use this product and whatever. So, um, yeah, now, I was going to say that, like just being comfortable, not yep. really conforming, you're comfortable the way you are. Yeah. And then as you are growing up or maturing or going through stages in your life, you might be like, you know, it's not about like everyone around me doesn't have a mohawk. Yeah. I can rock a mohawk, but I think maybe you just mature different you know, yeah. different years going through the years, but like Brandon, mm-hmm. he more probably was more comfortable. And then the hairdresser or stylist or yeah. barber knew 
what to do. Right. And now look at him. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's got he's, he's got some style to it. Hair yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I thought was interesting about this is that he said he was worried about losing his head and shoulders um, sponsorship. Mm. You know, or maybe not losing it, but definitely that it could affect it because yeah. he's got this you know, head of hair. And like if, he doesn't have other sponsors. <laughs> He's like on every other commercial. I'm just, yeah, exactly. just ask them, be like, how much haircut can I have yeah. and still get your money? Yeah. <laughs> so Problem solved. it'll be interesting to see what haircut he goes with. Yeah. Um, and it, let, let us know in the, uh, in the comments, if you guys like his hair, if you could care less, whatever. We just want to hear your opinions about that as well. Today's episode is sponsored by Mevo, the salon and spa software that stands out from the crowd. Forget what you know about standard software with their customizable dashboards. Mevo brings smart centers alive with real-time data, metrics, and goals tailored just for you. And when it comes to booking, Mevo's appointment book is a game changer, equipped with AI and voice commands for the fastest and smartest scheduling experience. With over 150 reports at your fingertips, Mevo is designed to elevate your business, streamline your operations, and boost your revenue. Experience the difference with Mevo, salon and spa software like no other. Now back to the show. Um, all right, so we're going to con- combine or come up with our own list. We only got about, you know, 10 minutes left. We're, let's come up with our own list of, uh, real quick, the worst things, 10 worst things that people do to their hair. Okay. Not in any particular order. We're just no, like we're not each doing ten. We're just no, gonna... just like let's just talk <laughs> yeah, about it. Like, like talk and then about we can com- come up with our own list because I kept seeing. I saw one person's list, and I don't know if I fully agreed with it. And I didn't want to just bring their list on, so yeah. I thought it'd be more fun. Uh, you know, people that actually know hair to really talk about, like, you know, what <laughs> are the worst things. I know I'm going to start with one because my biggest offender of this is going to watch this. And she's going to know to stop <laughs> Look doing right it into right that now. Camera. Yeah. <laughs> Look right. Up. When you take your sunglasses that have nose pieces <laughs> oh. and push them back into your hair mm. and then don't know why you've got breakage around your face, <laughs> that's why. Stop pushing nose piece glasses into your hair. I feel attacked. You should. I came in this morning like that. I was was thinking, who did I just see like that? It was Carly when I walked in here this morning. And Carly's like, why won't my bangs grow? (laughs) No, she just cut them. Stop. She literally just said, why won't my bangs grow? (laughs) Guilty. And what's like, it's fine. If you've got the glasses where it's like all one piece, that's fine. You push those back, use it as a headband. But like aviators, you know what I'm talking about? Like the little separate nose pads that like Carly's things right there. right here. When you push those (laughs) up into your hair, it's going to grab. And then when you just pull them out, guess what comes out with it? (laughs) Yeah, like when they get, everyone, they do that like pull and they're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that little extra is like <laughs> your hair, your bangs uh, ripping yeah. out <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was an interesting one. There's mine. Yeah. You see, and that's what I'm saying. That wasn't on the list, but, but it's a huge problem. And it is those little things that people don't realize that they're doing right. that are really causing like little little damage. If they're doing it every day, every day, several yeah. times yes. a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Follow that. That's it. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever almost say something and then? No. Okay. <laughs> I just say it. <laughs> All right. Good. I'll, I'll learn from you then. All right. Um, what do you, do you have? Any? Yeah. Um, I think pulling your hair back when it's wet, Ugh. tying it in a tight like and sleeping that yeah, way. Don't do that. Mm, yeah, that's a good Because that creates your breakage yeah. around here. Like, and I was so bad. When I had my hair long ugh. the first time, I would tell people not to do that. And, and then I did it, it <laughs> and discovered why I tell people not to do that. <laughs> and just yesterday I was telling a client, like, they just don't understand. Like, when your hair is wet, it's got more elasticity. So if you stretch it beyond where it should be, mm-hmm. as it dries, it breaks. Yep. Yep. And then you end up, I can, call, I can clock people when they're in my chair when they do it. Because it looks you like bangs in the is. back yeah. of their head. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, so we're on to everyone. We yeah. know. <laughs> we might not say anything. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> That's the difference. They keep doing it though. Oh yeah, they won't stop. I mean, people Oh yeah. No. People you, have all these well, vices and is, they don't stop. No, no, what helps is shame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That's not some. <laughs> yeah, good call. Good call. Do uh, you have a Matt? Um, all of mine I've learned from you. So <laughs> if you want to say any nice answer, no, you can say. No, I'm serious. Are you really? Oh, too being... hot. Too hot oh, with the geez. hot tools. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, not using heat protectant. Mm-hmm. Um, I do think this is one thing that I definitely believe is that blow drying your hair is actually not a good thing at all. Like, I think the less you blow dry, the better off you are. Like, so I think. Personally, if you have chemically treated hair, bleached hair, perm, a smoothing treatment, and you're blow drying with a every day with a really crappy blow dryer, it's yeah, it's no good. Yes. And then also, I think if you're overusing any, um, I'm not going to say name brand like the brands, but if you're overusing anything that adds in a lot of proteins and keratins and in there, it softens your like your hair so much that I feel like if you're going to use a hot tool, your hair's you're ultimately trying to help or fix your damaged hair. Yeah, but it's not. But working. it's hurting you in the long. It's run. It's hurting yeah. you in the long run. I really do believe that. Yeah. Well, to kind of go off of that, another big one that I try to shame my people into understanding is overwashing. Like the the analogy that I love, listen, that's why I don't wash my hair. No, but the analogy that I love, especially for people with long hair, is if you take your favorite t-shirt and you wash it a hundred times, even on the gentlest, softest cycle, after a hundred washes, it's still going to be completely broken down. And that's just a hundred washes. That's washing your hair once every three to four days for one year. Yeah. So if you've got hair that's long down your back, like... That's years old. That is hundreds and hundreds of washes that will eventually just wear and tear on the hair. So if you are one of those people that insist you have to wash it every single day, but then don't understand why you can't get past a certain length, like that's where that conversation comes in. Because I do think that that is something that leads to breaking down the integrity of the hair. Okay. Even good stuff. The yeah. best stuff on earth. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's that's a big conversation that I've had with Formulate is that the, the the big things in hair products that really cause a lot of damage like people are so freaked out by silicones and different things but there's a lot of benefits to to a lot of these ingredients but oils <clears throat> are really not good they soften your hair so much mm. so like it but if there's, there's yeah. like you're saying isn't there different things in oils whether they go they penetrate or they coat yeah. So then you yeah. have to just know what it is yeah. and how you're how you're using them. Yep. When you're using Oils them in the process. Oils silicones coat. So mm-hmm. like when you want really healthy looking hair, silicones are great because they do coat and make your hair look perfect, you know, and, and polished. There are different levels to silicones. There are some really crappy ones or ones that you use on your car tires. And then there's ones. And sometimes they get real close to that car tire silicone in certain brands. So you, you got to yeah, be um, careful. You want to <laughs> make sure you're using a brand that is using high quality ingredients. But, um, you know, not everything is just bad. You know, you got to un- understand it a little more. And we'll get more into that because I think that's a way bigger conversation. I actually like to have the Formulate guy um, okay, I would love uh, that. on here it would be fun. So I want to talk to you guys about Formulate. Customized formulas, freshly dispensed, made just for you. So I wanted to announce that I'm thrilled to be a part of the Formulate journey. This technology will revolutionize the way that stylists and clients interact. Formulate is all about individualized products that evolve with feedback. Customer shampoo, conditioner, serum, all those different things, all those needs are constantly changing. So at Formulate, we are empowering professionals to take control of their clients' hair like never before. Formulate's fusion of chemistry and innovation is a game changer. So if you're a stylist out there and you're looking to get more information on Formulate, just go to the website formulate.co, that's C-O, slash Matt Beck, and you can sign up for our waiting list where there'll be more information to come. Or if you're just someone looking for a change in your shampoo conditioner, something that works for you, that is built specifically for you, then go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck and you can get your formula made by your personal chemist today. Again, guys, go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck. Um, all right. So we only got four minutes. Um, the Let's just hit on this real quick because I think this is a, a quick conversation. Women paying more than men for haircuts. Oh, I don't think it's quick. It's not quick. It's but not quick. I, I know. It's not quick, but we could get into it a little bit, maybe get into it more next That'd time. That'd be our cliffhanger. Yeah. 
I mean, it could be our cliffhanger too. How about we have that for next week? Because yeah, I don't do think that. it's going to be quick, and yeah. I don't want to rush over another woman. No, I'm. T- <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a good point. I quickly would rather go wait to really get into issue. that conversation. Yeah, yeah let's no. really get into it. And <laughs> also, what would be really cool is that you guys out there that watch this show, I want to hear your opinion. And on girls. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> really? Got, you. <laughs> got me. Um, women, <laughs> I want to know what the women think out there. Um, wow. Women paying more for haircuts than men. Are we, what do you, how do you feel about it? You know who's going to feel good about it? We'll get back into it. There's a lot We're of different do things. It. To, I get, there's yeah. a lot there's to it. There's a lot, a lot to, of nuance. All right, to that how, do I, how do I word that for people to answer it? More uh, no, like, just like that. Just yeah. like that, and then we all get into it. Yeah. And yeah, then no. everyone, it's a conversation. The fact yeah. that yeah. The, on average a woman's I don't really want, three times more than a men's. I think you're right, though. Everyone's not going to. I mean, most people are not going to be okay with that. But why? I guess is yeah. Like, yeah. Get a little bit in depth with your answer so that we can look through it. And I want to bring up your guys' conversations on the show as well. Because Louis even said, gendering haircuts is 2024, my lord. That right. ain't it. So and like, that's the thing. And that's what, a exactly. whole other way to go. Not exactly. just what's like, yeah. wrong, but mm-hmm. what's yeah. the solution. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I also have thoughts on that too because of posting haircuts on YouTube and stuff. Like, it's really hard not to label them because people are searching still. Yeah. And like, so it's it's hard. Yeah, it's a really, really long topic. Conversation. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. So, so we're going to get into it. All right, so <laughs> next week. so many week, different avenues. Yeah, next week we're going to get deep into that. And then... um. Who who do we want to spin the um, wheel? If you want to position. if you want to spin the wheel, Brian's getting into position. First person to say <laughs> they want to spin. I thought you did it. Oh 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 oh. And then what we're gonna do for yeah for next week is uh, comment on the video and let me know if you want to spin and we'll we'll put you into spin. So the fir- per- first person when the comment right now. Oh okay. Is gonna spin the wheel. On the wheel, we have Minerva Beauty. They're giving away a Theragun. It's not necessarily oh. this one, but they have a Theragun. And this thing is great for those long days in the salon when you want to just get home and, you know, work out the kinks. <laughs> and uh, we also have uh, Mevo, too, on the wheel. Mevo is doing uh, conferences all over. Tracy Los- gets to spin. All Sorry. Right, cool. <laughs> Small conferences all over the country. Uh, we're g- giving away tickets to that. Um, formulate uh, is giving away free formulation, uh, custom formulation for you guys. And then we have a bunch of, of different scissors and things from our shop, uh, shopfse.com. So it's Tracy, right? You said Tracy. Yep. All right, Tracy, <laughs> we're going to spin it and let's see what you win. Tracy from Wisconsin, I think. Yep. I forgot to load up the applause. I was going to say, we need wheel music. I'll put it. It'll be in the... Uh, <laughs> oh, try razor. Oh, all right. Very cool. All right. Go. All right. Congrats, Tracy. You want to try razor. Um, so all you have to do is email info at freesaloneducation.com and just put in the uh, in the subject, say, uh, wheel winner, and then um, your address, phone number, obviously your full name, and then we will get that out to you. All right. Exciting stuff. Good show, guys. Yeah. I feel I feel better about this one. Then like walking away from this, I I all week I was like, I want to just go back and do it again. You know? Cause <laughs> well, I just felt like it like we just were a little Well, here we are doing it yeah, again. But yeah. It's not the first time anymore. <laughs> I know. Now we're pros. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. So uh follow Brian Hare. Uh hairstyle with the E across all socials. Yes. And then Carly. Um, hair by Carly C. Okay. Yeah. And uh, everything for us at Free Salon Education. Uh, thank you guys again. Uh, join us live to tape uh, every Friday, 10 a.m. ish. And uh, <laughs> soft 10. Yeah, soft 10. And we will uh, see you guys on the next show. Thanks so much. 